Hi there. I'm just going to quickly go over how to reserve a business name in Texas. Very straightforward. Um, in this particular state, it costs $40 across the board, whether you're doing it online or by PDF through the mail. Um, you can renew it for 30 days afterwards, uh, and it lasts 120 days. I said that sort of backwards. It lasts 120 days, and you can renew it for 30 days after the fact. Um, if you are planning on filing online, you're going to need to first create an online tutorial. And if you click on this link here, you're going to get our complete tutorial on how to go about registering for an account. And we got another video for that too, in case you're having some trouble. Um, before we start, again, it's a good idea to perform a name availability search. Um, this is going to make sure that the name that you're trying to reserve hasn't already been registered in Texas, right? Now, in order to do a name availability search, you're also going to need an online account. So it's sort of unavoidable um, if you plan on filing correctly, you need to create an online account. At any rate, let's just go over the online filing process to begin here. So first thing you need to do is navigate to this web page, and then you enter in your user ID and password, providing that your account has already been created, and then you can click Submit. After that, you'll need to enter in your payment method. Uh, we chose credit card because it seemed the most um, the most basic and straightforward. And also, you get the supplier contact information. So that's your name, your phone number, and email. You can also supply your fax number and client reference number. Um, after this, your payment information will be needed. So if you chose credit card, you need to enter your card type, your card number, your expiration date, your security code, business name or individual name, full address, and phone number. And then you can click Next. And then if it's all been entered correctly, you're going to get a page that looks like this. Um, and it should, it'll just let you know that you're logged in, uh, which is great. I think we could probably could have figured that out. And it'll also give you your session code. Um, once there, you can click on the business organizations tab, um, at the top there. And the business organizations, uh, homepage looks something like this. You're going to have all these different options. Um, and you'll find a drop down menu under sort of the web filings. And it should probably already say application for name reservation because that's at the very top. So if that's the case, just click file, file document. If it's not, go ahead and click on the drop down menu and select it from the list there and then click file document. And you're going to be able to um, choose the filing type again, which will just be name reservation and then click continue. The next page will have you entering the name and you can do a name availability search here too if you haven't done so already which is a convenient little feature they've added. After that, you can supply the name of the business or the individual that's reserving. Um, so enter the name and then also the address you'll need to provide as well. Click continue. Um, it's not required that you provide a letter of consent, but you can. So you, if you want to, you can click choose file and upload that. Uh, if that's not the case, which I assume is most of the time, uh, you can click continue. And finally, the signature of the applicant will be needed or the applicant's attorney or agent. Uh, just type in the name here and click continue. And then your final page will look something like this with uh, sort of an image of what the PDF would look like, form 501 of the application for reservation of an entity name. And then at the very top, you'll have a cancel filing option, an edit filing option, if you need to edit any of the information entered thus far. And you'll also have a submit filing option uh, with a $40 filing fee um, sort of notification there and you click that and because we entered in our credit card information at the very beginning of the uh, process We'll be able to just automatically submit the filing and immediately purchase it at the same time uh, You can reserve by PDF as well very straightforward you download it here and then you'll need to enter um, Whether it's a new application or a renewal because remember you can do 30 days after the fact um, You enter the name to be reserved the entity type uh, the name of the applicant, whether it's an entity or an individual, uh, the applicant address, the date, and then the signature of the applicant. And then with the form completed, you'll need to print it off, provide your signature, and then make a duplicate copy and attach to it a check or money order totaling $40. And either one of those should be made out to the Secretary of State. Now you can also pay by credit card. Um, click on this document here and you'll see sort of it's a payment form uh, where you can enter your credit card information and a few other pieces of information. Um, and this will allow you to pay through the mail or by fax with your credit card. And the fax number is here. The address, if you plan on mailing your documents, is here. And then this James Earl Rudder office building is the one you'll have to hand deliver your filing to if that is the case. 
All right, guys, that's how you perform a name reservation. I hope that was helpful in some way. Uh, best of luck to you.